Hey there, my name is Allie. I have a quick unboxing. Um, I literally just got off work and I have to be back at work in about seven hours. So um, I just got this package in the mail when I got home and I wanted to quickly unbox it. Um, this is one that I traded in about five of my other lingerie bags for, so I've definitely been um, interested in it and invested in it. Um, so I'm pretty excited to open this. My makeup looks a little runny right now because I was just listening to a podcast in the car about wolves and then being hunted, so I had a good cry session in the car, but um, no time to fix that because we're just going to go to bed and take it all off anyway. So this is the absolutely giant box face that Fashion Files sent me. I did get this from Fashion Files. using ab muscles to open this thing. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so in fashion file fashion. Um, they usually come with the information on uh, in this little card. I'll open it as soon as I get everything situated here. A thank you card, um, which actually I, I could probably do without the things in the trash anyway, like all the paper. But it's really cute and flat. I really didn't think this bag was this big. Okay, so just it's not even opening it. This bag is really heavy. Um, it is an Hermes bag, so um, yeah, lots of leather, uh, definitely a heavy one. Onyx is very curious. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, I can smell the leather. Okay, so this is the Hermes 2424 size 35. See if I can get some more info. Uh, Torilon, I'm going to pronounce this, um, mispronounce this. Torilon Marie Swiss. Um, so this color, um, I'm just going to say like, it's in general, so this is like a navy color, and then it's got black accents. So black on this part, black handles, um, the like portions right here where it connects the leather are, is black, um, and then this pocket on the back is black as well. On the inside, it's very smooth navy le leather, and then it's gold hardware. So I know I did a video about um, the 2424, the size 29 and just how difficult it is to get in and out of the bag, but um, I don't know, I just, there's something about the bag that I really like. I'm hoping that maybe this one's a little bit easier to manipulate and get it in and out of, which just that right there where it kind of popped in is a little bit promising. Um, so the bag opens, it's pretty notorious for not having a very wide opening. Okay, so it's got an extremely large zip pocket in the back, it's very deep as well, and on the inside, it's all navy. So they did include the um, Hermes dust bag. Okay, so now the bag is completely empty. Again, it's got a narrow opening and it's a dark bag, so it's pretty tough to see inside, but um, it's pretty deep. And then when it's completely empty, that's how it sits. So it's a smushy bag. I like smushy bags um, for the most part. And then, yeah, so 
I do plan on doing a comparison video with this bag, and um, which is a size 35, along with the size 29 that I have. Um, I'm definitely not going to get to that tonight because i got to get to bed. I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to make sure I unboxed this. Wow, you can really see how funny it is. Um, yeah, it's wow, it's really like melting. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to film the unboxing portion, and then um, I'll definitely be getting around to the comparison video. And then um, if I wear it around, uh, they still have the plastic on here, actually. But yeah, you know, if I wear it around in the next, you know, week or two, um, to throw in a review there as well. I don't leave this um, plastic protector on any of my hardware because um, I've been told that it can, like, kind of tarnish the hardware. So, yeah, everything's okay. Very nice and shiny. Okay, anyway, that's it. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to like the video, um, thumbs up, subscribe if you like handbag stuff, and more to come. Thank you.